Okay. According to Ray Hack in the World Magazine, quote, the 1998 movie Basketball contains a joke. How do you think Shaq got rich? One, pair, one character asks his friend. Playing in college, the friend responds, everyone knows that, end quote. This means that an athlete's NIL grows most while it's in college. So the NIL law was passed two years ago, and it's brand new to the sports world. Before it was passed, there have been many lawsuits informing about the NIL and how the NCAA has used athletes' NIL. So throughout my informative speech, I'll talk about the NIL of amateur athletes and of how they're able to make money off of it. I will also be giving you information about the lawsuits that have come with NIL. So let's start off from the top. What is NIL? NIL stands for Name, Image, and Likeness. And before July of 2021, athlete, amateur athletes were not able to make a profit based off their name. And until July of 2021, when the Supreme Court passed laws for them to be able to do so. This means that companies are able to sign these athletes to deals, no matter on their state's NIL laws, and make a profit. But it also means that athletes are now able to make their own personal brands and to also run sports camps for and make money off of it and be able to teach at those. An example of a NIL deal would be, quote, Bo Nix, a quarterback from the football team at Auburn University in Alabama last season, was among the first athletes to sign an NIL deal with Milo's Tea Company, a maker of sweet tea. Now that Nix has transferred to Oregon, or to the University of Oregon, Milo's can move units into the Pacific Northwest, Joseph Goodman wrote for AL.com, end quote, hack. So this means that companies are now able to uh, reach other parts of the countries that they weren't able to before with the signing of athletes. Some rules that go along with it is that uh, colleges are still able to dictate on what kind of uh, deals that you sign and so they don't conflict with any rules that may be put in place that are still in yet. Quote, athletes in Texas will be prohibited from endorsing alcohol, tobacco products, and sports betting. Further, universities that have power to object deals that conflict with existing agreements, the university as has an example of a university football player may have issues endorsing Adidas when the university is sponsored by Nike. End quote, NCAA's NIL policy provides trademark options for college athletes. This does not include, or this includes also high school athletes. At this, uh, so in high school it's completely different they have to abide by their state's laws and that they cannot just be have a free will at what they want to do. And Darren Heitner says in What is NIL NCAA Rule Explained, quote, California is the only state that clearly allows high school athletes to pursue NIL opportunities. According to the California Interscholastic Federation, California high school athletes can profit from their NIL as long as they do not use their school's name or marks, end quote. Meanwhile, in the state of Minnesota, we have, quote, a student cannot use athletic skills to promote or advertise products, end quote, Heitner. With these two examples, we can see that uh, the laws from each state will vary and that this last photo right here indicates all the blue states are that have allowed NIL to happen and the gray ones do not allow it at all. So with NIL just being passed recently, many lawsuits have come before it wanting to claim money for the use of their NILs and colleges, the NCAA as a whole, and even other companies including Electronic Arts, which makes video games. William D. Hoffers Jr. writes in Ed O'Bannon versus NCAA, do former NCAA athletes have case against the NCAA for its use of their likeness? Quote, Electronic Arts, or EA, has made NCAA sports games of NCAA sports along with many other games. However, these NCAA games have been discontinued since the early 2010s. This came along due to EA using characters representing the real life players imitating their looks, name, number, and play style into the game. 
So let's move on to the NCAA's reasoning for why they were able to do this. Um, quote, additionally, the NCAA permits NCAA members, universities, to sell items with name, likenesses, or pictures of multiple student athletes, end quote, Holocaust. This includes that within the signing to go to a university to put and play athletics there, they have given the university and NCAA rights to do so with their names and to make profit off of them. Quote, currently the NCAA policy does not address the use of student athletes and likeness in electronic arts video games. This means that the previous one was about selling memorabilia and uh, old classic games, but this one means that they have not written within the contracts that they have signed that they can not use it in the video games and make money off of the video games. Meanwhile, the players have their own argument. In Brown and others wrote in a proposal for group licensing of college athlete NILs, quote, Electronic Arts deponent revealed that avatars in its NCAA video games were tied to specific players and their bio uh, biographical information, end quote. These, they are saying that the EA has uh, uh, admitted that they are using specific players and they are imitating what they would play like in real life to promote their game and to have and to try to advertise it to uh, the common people to come play. And their other reasoning is, quote, however, items that have included an individual student athlete's name, picture, or likeness may not be sold, end quote, end quote Holthus. Meaning that they have found uh, saying, or in typing that they are not allowed, that colleges are not allowed to do so, and that what they have been doing is wrong. In the end, uh, at the end of the case, NC the NCAA has been, uh, they have to pay $20 million to Division I football and uh, Division I basketball teams that have been in the video games. Uh, and then the EA has been fined $40 million for doing so the same thing, paraphrased Brown and others. So along with this, there have been surveys done with the college athletes. Kabakis and others in Is It Still in the Game or Is Amateurism Left the Building NCAA Students Athletes Perceptions of Commercial Activity in Sports Video Games, quote, 42% strongly agree or agreed that there should be a separate waiver form that will clarify that which in NCAA uses their name or their NIL meaning that they think that there should be a uh, different contract signing giving them permission to use their NIL. Another quote that they use is, quote, 31% of athletes believe that their athletic scholarship was sufficient in exchange for their use of their identity, and quote, there's a significant correlation between athletes having a positive attitude toward being featured in the video games and believe their image was being used fairly. 66 agreed or strongly agreed that they believe the way the NCAA and video games companies use their uh, name and likeness is fair, end quote, Kavakis and others. Meaning that most athletes agree that this is okay for what the NCAA is doing and that they are fine with this being that their schooling is getting paid for by the university. So, Throughout my, the entirety of my speech, I've given you the basic understanding of what NIL is and who is able to profit off of it and the rules gaining from it and the lawsuits pertaining to NIL. From the following information I've given you, you are able to see the different aspects of NIL even though this will not pertain to many of you. This is my works cited page and thank you for listening.